to OC Turtles and Tortoises. Today we're gonna be talking about basic box turtle care. Okay, so the box turtle comes from the uh, genus Terrapini, and um, we're gonna be talking about the American box turtles and some of the more common uh, box turtles that you see in the pet trade. So um, there's two classes that we have. We have uh, Carolina and Ornata. So there are two different species of Ornata. You have the desert ornate box turtle, which is this one here. This is Yambo. He's an old male desert ornate box turtle. And then you have the standard ornate box turtle, which is this one right here. And this is a female. This is Myrtle. And so these guys will range from uh, like the deserts of like New Mexico all the way in through Texas. Um, and so those are the ornate box turtles. And so the next one is Terrapini. This class is a lot larger. So some of the common ones that um, are in the pet trade is the Eastern box turtle, which is kind of like the poster for box turtles, uh, Terrapini Carolina Carolina. So that's the, uh, that's a, this is a female uh, Eastern box turtle. She's being a little shy right now. And so then the next common, probably the most common in the pet trade is the three-toe box turtle. And so there is a three-toe box turtle. This is Tucker, a male three-toe. And so another species would be the Floridan box turtle. So this is uh, Largo. She is a young Floridan box turtle. And you could see very pretty markings on her shell. And then the other species, which we do not have one right now, is the is the Gulf Coast box turtle. Um, and that is the, the biggest species of American box turtle. Uh, and they also spend a lot of their time in the water. Uh, another species, two other species of box turtle that we do not have is the Cohelan Co box turtle and the Yucatan box turtle. And those are box turtles that are endangered and are more of a rare uh, turtle to see in the pet trade. Uh, we just went over some of the more common ones that you may see. And so now we're gonna go into uh, housing box turtles and um, lighting and all that type of stuff. So I'm here in the three-toe box turtle enclosure and you can see it's a very large enclosure. Um, when keeping box turtles, we recommend keeping them outside. We keep all of our animals outside. It just is more natural for them um, and they tend to do a lot better. But if you do wanna keep them in the tank, a 40 gallon breeder is probably the minimum I would go. That's the smallest I would go. And make sure that they have plenty of heat and UVV. Um, the UVV is essential. You could go check out our video on metabolic bone disease to see just how important that is. So as you can see here, setup wise, we have a little body of water, a little pond that we built here for them. So they could come in here and soak, kind of swim a little bit, um, drink some water. And you could see just a lot of leaf litter. If we look over here, you could see, let me move this, you could see all the turtles just in the leaf litter. And if you start to dig around, you just, you could find more and more turtles in here. And it's really just what they do in the, in the wild. They like to bury down and the leaves will keep them warm. And you can see how well they camouflage into this environment. Um, we also have a house over here for them. Just uh, another place to stay safe. And this is also filled with leaf litter, hay and moss for them to stay warm inside of. And so it's pretty shady in here right now, but this does get a lot of light early on in the day. What you'll notice with box turtles is they tend to come out early in the morning and soak in that initial sunlight. And then throughout the day, they like to go and hide and escape the heat in these little microclimates in the, in the leaf litter and burying in the dirt and soaking in the pond and stuff like that. So these are just, you wanna make it as natural as possible. They love the leaf litter to bury down in and um, Escaping wise, we just, you could see how it's kind of built into this little concrete area. We have another fence over there. And so this just keeps them in here. Uh, just the area that we have uh, picked out for them. Uh, just, there's not really anywhere for them to escape. So right now I'm in the desert ornate pen and we're just gonna be covering their diet so that they can stay healthy and avoid that metabolic bone disease as they're growing up. So 
for diet, what you're going to want is, is I would say you're mainly going to want to feed them protein and you can give them fruits every now and then, but I wouldn't give it to them often because they can form diabetes and it can just lead to a whole bunch of problems with them growing up. And uh, for baby box turtle care, they're going to be eating mainly just protein. Uh, Garden State Tortoise, uh, Chris Leone did a great video on baby box turtle care if you want to go check that out. Um, but just making sure that you have a variety in their diet. So, so but basically what, what we just feed them is we'll give them super worms and then we'll mix it up to crickets and then we'll mix it up to earthworms, maybe some red worms. And then we will maybe give them a, some canned fruit. You can get it at a pet shop. It's just like a box turtle kind of variety food just to make sure that they are healthy. And you can even get them, give them some lettuce that we feed ours occasionally, uh, just keep them hydrated. So contrary to popular belief, as you can see here, box turtles and water go hand in hand together. You're gonna wanna have a nice water source, whether your box turtle is kept inside or outside to make sure that they don't get dehydrated because it is very easy for them to become dehydrated and it can lead to various health issues. And you just want a happy, tortoise, happy turtle overall. Make sure that when you have the water source in their enclosure, make sure there's an easy escape route so they can get out easily and they're not gonna get stuck in there. And as you can see here, box turtles love spending a lot of time in water. And when you find box turtles in the wild, they're usually in close proximity to a nice water source. So right around now, it is late November and um our box turtles will be going into hibernation as you can see they're they're very buried and basically for hibernation you're just going to want to make sure that they have enough leaf litter that's going to keep them insulated and safe maybe some hides those are also insulated on the inside we have sphagnum moss in there and before they go into hibernation you're just going to want to make sure that your turtles are healthy so be checking on them be looking for any signs of sickness, maybe something to do with their eyes or anything coming out of their nose. And you're gonna notice that they're gonna stop eating as much. They're not gonna be coming out. And that's how you can kind of tell they're getting ready for hibernation. Hey guys, so that was uh, just basic care um, and some other tips about keeping box turtles. Um, it's very important to know your state laws before you acquire a box turtle. A lot of states where box turtles are native have uh, rules and regulations um, about keeping box turtles. You could uh, easily go look at your uh, fish and wildlife or environmental page um, on, from your state to give you more information about that. Um, and it is very important, do not take box turtles out of the wild. Um, they're a suffering species due to habitat loss and the pet trade. Um, if you see a box turtle crossing the street, help it along its way, do not bring it home. It, it knows what it's doing, it just needs to cross the street. As tempting as it might be. Yeah, um, a lot of box turtles get hit by cars. And so that, um, that and taking them out of the wild for the pet trade are the two main reasons in the uh, decline in box turtles in their natural population. Um, box turtles are great pets if you, are lucky enough to live in a state uh, as we do to own them, then uh, they're a great species um, and you'll have so much fun taking care of them. And so that is our video. Um, if you want to ask us any questions, feel free to DM us on Instagram at oc.tortoise and uh, have a great day. Thank you.